Oreos, a tiny egg with mini sausages, the smallest chocolate-covered souffle, and very small blue jelly? Watch our new video to learn how to make tiny, yummy snacks for your Barbie. Dolly decided it's time to grow up. She just got a job at a cafe and turned herself into a serious lady. Glasses, black coffee, a complicated book to read. She's forgotten all about how much she used to love her Barbies. Christy tries to remind her about the favorite toys of her past. Sorry, Christy, I'm too busy for dolls. What? Really? Christy tries to come up with a plan to bring Dolly's lost childhood back to her. To pump up her brain power, she gets out a pack of chips. Snacks always help her think. What's this? The Barbies are watching Christy with cold disapproval. Just a second, and Christy has a doll-sized portion of chips ready to go. Spray potato chips with water. When the chips are soaked through, use a wide straw to cut circles out of them. Place the mini chips on a plate and dry them out in a microwave. Print out a small picture of a bag of chips on self-adhesive paper. Glue it to some foil. Put the package together and fill it with the mini chips. The dolls dig right into their lays. They love snacks just as much as real people do. The sound of their happy crunching gives Christy a brilliant idea. To appeal to a very serious person, you need to give him a very serious task. Since Dolly has a job now, then the Barbies can be her clients. Christy immediately opens a doll restaurant. Dolly, you've got customers. Dolly doesn't like this idea. She has too much to do already. Where's your hospitality? You can't leave these plastic guests waiting. Fine. Dolly starts taking down their mini order. The Barbies are in the mood for some breakfast. And they want the chef's signature sunny side up egg. Cut tiny sausages out of a regular sausage using a thin straw. Grease a frying pan with a couple drops of vegetable oil. Collect some egg white in a syringe and drop it onto the frying pan. Do the same thing with the yolk. Deposit the drops onto the white. Salt it. Remove the finished egg from the pan. Fry up the two cut out sausages the same way. Put the eggs and sausages onto a doll plate. Add a drop of ketchup. Dolly sets the table. Mini napkins, silverware, and the smallest eggy breakfast imaginable. Bon appetit, dolls! It seems like both Barbies are pleased with their food. Dolly made the right choice by starting to work in the food industry. Christy keeps playing with her dolls. After such a filling breakfast, the Barbie needs something to drink. Empty plastic cups are so boring. Dolly crunches confidently on an Oreo. Perfect! There we go! The ideal combination. A glass of milk and chocolate cookies. We just need to make the cookies smaller. Separate the halves of an Oreo and remove the filling. Place the cookies into a Ziploc bag and crumble them up finely. Add a little water to the cookie crumbs. Mix. Form cookie halves. Dry them out. Separate some of the filling and use it to attach two cookie halves together. Make a few mini cookies. Print out an Oreo package two inches long on sticker paper. Attach a layer of foil. Seal the edges shut. Fill the package with cookies and close it up. As if by magic, the Oreos suddenly become doll-sized. Wow! Just look at these teeny tiny cookies! We serve too many bottles of milk to go with the Oreos. The cookies get eaten up very quickly. Barbies love Oreos! Christy reveals a dreadful secret. It's that customer's birthday! She came here to pick out a sweet treat for her doll party. Dolly answers the call. Let's prepare a sweet miniature dessert. Pour three doll-sized cups of milk into a fondue pot. Add in 10 toy spoons of semolina flour and three spoons of sugar. Set up a candle under the pot to heat up the mixture. After it boils, cook it for another three minutes. Transfer the finished mixture to a glass container and put it in a fridge for a couple hours. 
cut the cooled souffle into cubes. Cover it with foil and turn it over. Remove the souffle from the container. Cut it again. Melt chocolate in a double boiler and cover the souffle cubes with the chocolate glaze. Decorate each cube with a star-shaped sprinkle. The birthday Barbie gets presented with a delicate, sweet, chocolate-coated souffle. Let her try our famous dessert, but it seems like it's not fancy enough for our Barbie's birthday. She asks the waiter for a replacement. She wants the chef to impress her. Barbie is given a cup of coffee before her second dessert so as to cleanse her palate. Don't forget the milk. Finally, the waiter brings out her long-awaited dessert, a vanilla cupcake made according to a special doll recipe. Make mini cupcake molds out of tin foil. Use a wooden sponge handle to help shape them. Even out the edges. Beat one egg. Mix butter with sugar. Use a dropper to add a few drops of the whipped egg. Add flour. Put in two doll spoons of leavening, salt, and vanilla sugar. Pour in some milk and mix. Make the cupcake batter. The consistency should be like thick yogurt. Pour the batter into a Ziploc bag. Trim one corner. Coat the foil molds with vegetable oil. Use a brush. Fill the molds with the batter halfway. Bake the cupcakes for 10 minutes at 250 degrees. Melt colorful chocolate drops over a double boiler and decorate the finished cupcakes. Barbie likes the way this sweet cupcake smells and she eats the whole thing. Mmm, delicious! But she still wants something else, something totally awesome. Gosh, who knew Barbies were so finicky? Dolly's starting to get nervous. She'll resolve this like a grown-up. We'll order a unique dessert from the city's best bakery. They'll definitely be able to fulfill this Barbiezilla's wishes. Pour some hot water over a small amount of gelatin. Heat up some milk and pour the gelatin mass into it. Decorate it with a drop of food coloring and add three small spoons of sugar. Mix it. Pour it into a container and refrigerate it. Use a wide cocktail straw to cut out the finished jelly. Put it on a plate. Apply some dissolved gelatin and attach a heart-shaped edible decoration. Another second and there's a beautiful sky blue colored jelly dessert waiting in front of Barbie. It's so cute and tastes so delicious. No way will Barbie still be unsatisfied after this. Not even after all her tantrums. Barbie leaves the cafe with a whole bag full of this heavenly jelly for her party guests. Great work! After a full day of hard work, the girls decide to treat themselves to pizza. Dolly finally remembered how happy playing with Barbies makes her. She's really into mini cooking again. We should make a pizza for our Barbies too. Use a cup to cut out a circle from pre-made pizza crust. Coat it with ketchup. Cut a slice of ham into strips. Then cut it into small squares. Put it on the pizza. Cut a cherry tomato into small cubes. Put them on top of the ham. Cut a bell pepper the same way. Lay the pieces out on the crust. Use different colored peppers. Sprinkle the pizza with shredded cheese. Put the pizza on parchment paper and bake it for 10 minutes at 250 degrees. Fold the pizza box from a printed out template. Cover the bottom of the box with tin foil and put the finished pizza inside. With one easy movement, Dolly transforms her big pizza into a mini copy. Now each Barbie can have her own piece. But this isn't only edible for dolls. Christy samples the pizza. Whoa! This toy food actually tastes great! Enjoy! Did you like our Barbie recipes? Then let us know in the comments about which dish you'll make for your doll. 
And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new miniature recipes from Troom Troom.